Greetings, I'm Hawken, and welcome to another training video here with TopDon. Today we're going to cover module cloning, and today we are working on a 2010 Audi A4. The CVT transmission is being replaced, and we need to clone the module in order to allow the vehicle to properly start and drive. So we're going to take you through the whole process today and walk you through the basic steps of module cloning. So it's a 2010 Audi A4. This vehicle has a CVT transmission. The designation for this transmission is 0AW. So that's 0, ultra, uh, A as in Alpha, W as in Walter. So for tools that can do this particular function uh, in the Top Don line, all of the Top Don Phoenix Professional Series tools are capable of doing this function. Uh, the Phoenix Max, Phoenix Remote, Phoenix Smart, Phoenix Elite, Phoenix Lite 2, Phoenix Plus, and Phoenix Pro. You do need to purchase the T-Ninja box, which is purchased separately as an accessory kit. And the T-Ninja box then gets connected in conjunction with your Phoenix Professional Series tool in order to accomplish module cloning. So we'll go to the next step here show you a couple of the tools. So here are four of the current generation tools, the Phoenix Remote, the Elite, the Max, and the Smart. And then there's the Light 2 here on the top left, and the Phoenix Plus on the top right. Here is the T-Ninja box. Now when you order your T-Ninja box, you will get a nice blow molded plastic case with a number of accessories inside which you can use uh, specifically for EEPROM module cloning, as well as key cloning and key programming. So this is just a basic overview guide on module cloning when you are using the Phoenix Professional Series tools. Now remember, this is a general guide. It's not going to be specific to every single vehicle. So you're going to want to follow the directions on the tool, and you're also going to want to invest in attending some professional training on this subject if this is something that you plan to do on a regular basis. However, this video should give you some comfortability uh, performing the function with a Top Don Phoenix Pro Series tool. So some basic things you want to keep in mind before proceeding with any module cloning. You want to make sure you have a steady power supply to use. Uh, when you are going to do any module cloning. You want something like our Top Don Tornado T30000, which is a 30 amp steady power supply, or a T90000, which is a 90 amp steady power supply. Now, why do you need a power supply instead of a regular battery charger? This is a question that comes up very frequently. Standard battery chargers do not provide steady voltage. Uh, steady voltage is a requirement for module programming and cloning operations. So if you're going to do module cloning, you want to get something that is considered a power supply, not a battery charger. So the T30,000 and T90,000 will supply a steady state voltage throughout a programming and cloning operation like what we're going to do today. Now, we've uh, one stipulation on that point. The 2015 and newer vehicles generally are going to need the T90,000 uh, because many of the newer vehicles require a high ridge, um, higher amount of amperage uh, in order to properly hold that voltage steady. Uh, another thing you want to make sure you're doing if you're doing module cloning is you want to do a pre-scan of the vehicle before removing the original module and establish what the problem is with the vehicle before you go cloning the module. Uh, you may be requested to replace and clone a module on a vehicle where perhaps that is actually not the main problem with the vehicle, in which case, if you replace that module and it's not the root cause of the problem, uh, the end customer of yours may complain and give you a hard time and even try to refuse to pay you for your services. So again, I would recommend pre-scanning the vehicle prior to doing any work on the vehicle. Save your pre-scan and document your repairs. The other thing you want to make sure of before you proceed any further in the cloning process is you want to make sure there are no communications. 